This is Alaska Pollock. You can find it in all kinds of products. Frozen fish sticks, imitation crab meat. Perfumes, fish oil tablets, dog food. I'm feeding my dogs with fish oil dog food, so they like it. <laughs> That's Mark Hoffman. He's the power plant supervisor at the Unisee Seafood Plant in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. And he's been putting Alaska Pollock in one more unusual place. I have six diesel engines, just like the engine in your car, but really, really big. Those engines power the entire seafood plant. And for over a decade, Unisee has been experimenting with a readily accessible byproduct to help keep the lights on and the processing lines running. We take our fish oil and put it in a tank out here. I blend it with diesel fuel, and then I burn the fish oil and diesel fuel together. But does it really work to run fish oil through a standard diesel generator? I have burnt up to 80% fish oil. Running unrefined fish oil fresh from the factory floor does have its drawbacks. It's a little bit hard on our pumps and nozzles and parts. We'll change a lot of filters when we're burning fish oil. But swapping fish oil for diesel also has major upsides. The positive side is it's really, really inexpensive. And with diesel fuel was in 2014, $4 a gallon, and we're making fish oil for 20 cents, there's a significant savings. Hoffman said that year, Unisee saved over $800,000 by using fish oil for power. Since then, the price of diesel has dropped, and Unisee is more likely to find a buyer for the fish byproduct outside the company. So you probably won't be using Alaska Pollock to fire up your own generator anytime soon. But keep an eye out for fish oil almost everywhere else.